Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be looking at this sound bar from LG. It's the SK1. Uh, it's 40 watt RMS. It's uh, Bluetooth and optical. It's a compact size and hopefully it's going to sync perfectly with my LG Smart TV. So let's get it open. Let's have a look what's inside. So I've got my big scissors. So there we can see inside it's very well packed. Uh, polystyrene foam in there. So let's see what we've got. We've got some batteries in there and the same bar manual. We've got the remote. And then the sound bar itself, so there's nothing left in the box. So taking this out, let's get rid of the polystyrene. Okay, so you can see that it's wrapped in this plastic wrap. I'll just undo this. And there we can see the sound bar. The power cord is wrapped up in this polythene bag. It's a lot of plastic and polythene packed in these days. Still, let's get rid of it. And we can see that it's the standard UK three pin plug. Okay, so the top of the sound bar is a matte plastic with this grill covering the speakers that goes around the front. Turn around, looking at the back, we've got the power cord that goes in that side there. And there's also the optical in here and port in. And we have two hanging points where you can mount it to the wall. So you just put some screws into the wall and hang it onto there. Okay, so we have just a couple of batteries for the remote. Same bar manual. A registration leaflet and the LG protection plan, which I probably personally won't take out, but if you want to take out extra protection, you can officially with the LG, which is very nice to see. Okay, let's look at the remote. You can see it's a, it's a very small remote. Now I'm hoping that linking this in with my LG TV, I'm gonna be able to actually use the TV remote to control the, the same bar. But if not, there's the remote there anyway. So going from the top, We've got the power button. We've got the standard mode button, mute, volume controls. Then the, you can switch between the optical or the analog port in. And there's a Bluetooth button as well to switch to Bluetooth. And then you've got DRC off, DRC on, bass blast, and well, that's it. Very simple remote. It doesn't actually need to be very complicated with something like this. And to put the batteries in, you just unclip the back panel and put them in in the orientation that is shown inside. So now I'm going to take this downstairs where the TV is and show you how to set it up. Now I'm going to be connecting using an optical cable. See there, that's what an optical chat looks like. And it's gonna be going into this socket there. Plug that through, and then we'll go around the other side. So what I need to do is just feed the other end of that cable through, and then I can plug it as you can see with it being plugged into the TV, it's actually giving off red light and that's actually the signal coming through the fibre optics in the cable. 
So just plug it into the optical in on the same bar, turn it back round, and then I shall plug the same bar in. So that's just the TV on the side. So no, that's just the same bar on its own. It's got a much richer sound. Richer sound, the bass is clearer and more defined, and unlike the sound from the TV, it's actually facing this way and not shooting downwards into the glass cabinet. So, what happens then is usually if I'm sitting in the dining room behind or in the conservatory, I can actually hear it just as loud as the person in this room, which is no good when you've got a second TV in that room. So, this is why I bought the sound bar and yeah, it's doing a really good job. But now let's have a look, see if I can actually set up the TV so it controls the sound bar as well. Pause that. So I'm going to go to the TV remote and I'm going to go into the setup menu. So both the TV and the same bar have LG Sound Sync, so I'm going to select that and click OK. Press play on the video. And that now is controlled by the TV volume. So if I go to Bluetooth settings, just have a look through. You can see there LG SK1, so we'll press that. So that is now connected for media audio. Well, once again, the quality really is excellent. Deep bass, excellent stuff. So, thanks for watching. I'll give links to the LG SK1 soundbar in the video description below. Don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it. We've got loads more videos coming very soon. Best way not to miss any of those is to subscribe below. It doesn't cost a thing. Well, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.